Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. Colin Ray is back recording a studio album for the first time since the greatest heartache of his life a painful spiritual challenge. God really answered none of the prayers that we put out there. Because it started out, oh Lord, heal her. Heal her totally. Okay, we kind of gave up on that. And we thought, well, he doesn't want that. Okay, Lord, just fix this. And oh, he doesn't want to do that. Okay, well, can she just be able to swallow? Will you just make it to where she can swallow so she won't choke so much? Okay, Lord, if you don't want to do that, it's fine. Maybe could you just, could you just keep her from getting pneumonia every five weeks and going in the hospital for two? And he said no to everything we asked. Colin is talking about his granddaughter Haley, who died last year at age 10. She died from an undiagnosed neurological disorder. And that journey inspires this new CD, His Love Remains. So it seems most appropriate that on a September Sunday, a talented group of musicians, vocalists, and engineers gather with one mega country music star to give something very special back to our Lord. All my secular music has always had a meaning and a message to it, with very few exceptions. You can count probably on one hand the releases I've had that were just strictly fluffy and, and fun and for radio. The most, most of it has always been uh, message-oriented songs and faith-oriented songs whenever I could work it in there, and that was by design. Colin Ray. One of the most beautiful voices to ever grace country music radio is here to record his first inspirational CD. Colin Ray brings a real honesty to these songs. His voice is so honest and it's so clear and pure. And the way that he has really brought a unique flavor to a lot of these songs, having sung at a lot of different secular and religious venues, I can say that I think it's going to be a beautiful uh, a beautiful addition to what's already out there is I, I really think he brings something new to a lot of the songs that are on the CD. Did Jesus bear his cross alone and let the rest go free? No, there's a cross for all of us and there's one Colin Ray converted to Catholicism at age 23. I felt like there had to be more to the story. I felt like there had to be something a lot more than just the, the, uh, the method that I had been taught. And I believed, I, and if there was, I wanted it. You know, I wanted I want every possible grace. I want every possible uh, helping hand that I can receive. And I, and, and I wanted that then, even as a young man. Ray's career exploded in 1991 with his first number one hit, and what's known as his signature song, Love Me. Colin went on a country music tear, 16 number one hits, 24 top 10 hits, and worldwide fame. In 2010, Ray performed with Randy Travis at the first ever Terry's Life and Hope concert, a benefit show for the foundation established by the family of Terry Shivo. And he performed that evening with a deep pain, having lost his 10-year-old granddaughter Haley just days earlier. She died from an undiagnosed neurological disorder. Colin Ray always understood that his voice was a gift from God, and what he gave back was way more important which is why in 2001 he was presented with the Humanitarian of the Year Award. In all, 16 number one hits and a combined 10 ACM and CMA nominations for Country Music's Male Vocalist of the Year Award. And what a voice! As Colin sings, a rosary and a photo of his granddaughter Haley inspire his performance for God during this recording session. His new song, 
I get what I need speaks to accepting God's will, even at the most painful times in life, in every way. Colin and his family's faith was tested during Haley's physical struggles. She never really had a good day after the age of about four. Um, and I think that bothered me so much because there was nothing I could do. As the patriarch of the family, I tried everything, every connection, every available window open to me and nothing. And you talk about a faith tester. I mean, that's where you really go, come on. But never once did I ever question his existence. I know better, I've known him too long. I prayed for strength and I got pain that made me strong. I prayed for courage, but I got fear to overcome. When I prayed for faith, my empty heart brought me to my knees. Oh, I don't always get what I want, I get what I need. Catholic recording artist Marie Boulat joins Colin on this CD for one of the most sacred and holiest songs in the Christian music tradition. Very angelic voice. Mm. I think you have a little bit of a Judy Collins vibe. Prepare me to receive him and trust the word to me. As these two great voices and artists find their key and chemistry, Colin graciously offers most of the song to Marie, but Marie, with great humility, sees a greater message here. This is contemplating the Eucharist, yeah. and they need to know that men do that, and it's not a girl Absolutely, amen, thing. yeah. And so I, I think it's real important to have a man's voice okay. saying these things. Increase my faith, dear Jesus, in thy real presence here, and She's a real pro, quick, very good musically, quick to arrange stuff, figure out what we're going to do. And uh, it really clicked very, very easily. And I hope, uh, my, 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 my greatest hope there is that we, we get to perform these songs together live. And this CD introduces Andrea Thomas, a Cincinnati native and graduate of Franciscan University. It really adds something special to the record because she is from the next generation. She is uh, from a younger generation who loves the Lord and, and who knows these songs so well and sings them all the time and has recorded a number of them. And to be able to bring that kind of energy and freshness matching up with, uh, with an old war horse like me, you know, and our voices, I think it's, it was really magical. How Through it all, His Love Remains is a Christian CD about love, praise, sorrow, and resignation to the holy will of Almighty God. Yes, I will raise them up. Love remains an eternal burning flame. Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard. I 
hope that this will lead to many, many live performances, even a tour of doing this kind of music only. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now